Recently, I made a fresh installation on my Mac Mini. And after installing Home Assistant, there are add-ons that can take your Home Assistant experience to the next levels. In this video, I'll be showcasing the top must-have Home Assistant add-ons that will enhance your smart home setup and simplify your life. Don't miss out this essential guide to making your home truly smart. I installed the Home Assistant but currently I have nothing in it and the first thing I do is to install my favorite add-ons. Visual Studio Code has a few good features and one of them is the auto completion. it works instantly and also you have access to Home Assistant shell which lets me install my second favorite add-on. Usually after installing the add-on, I click the watchdog and it will start the add-on if it crashes and I like seeing it in the side panel. Then you can click start button to start visuals or I trust the authors. Then you can use it to configure your automations. From here I can install my favorite add-on. It is the home assistant community store. You just need to type in and it will be installed right away. It is a community-driven platform that allows users to find and install the custom integration, themes and plugins for their Home Assistant setup. With Hex, you can easily extend the functionality of your Home Assistant setup and customize it to your needs. After installing it, you need to configure it and you actually need to do this, so don't skip this. Go to the Integration tab and add Integration and type in Hex and Wait for a bit. You need to click all boxes after reading those. You cannot actually uncheck one of the boxes and click submit. And then you need to go to this link and copy paste the code that it provided. But before doing this step, you need to log in to GitHub account. So just take care of that before doing this. And you need to authorize X. And that's it. You are all set. After this, you will see Hex under your integration steps and also in your side panel. And if you need an add-on to integrate your device under the Home Assistant, you would probably find it here because here you would be able to find tons of add-ons and themes and etc. So definitely worth installing. And let's go to my next favorite add-on. It is Nodred. And to install it, you can use the official add-on store and click add-on store and here find Node-RED. Node-RED is basically a visual programming tool that allows you to create automations and integrations for Home Assistant. After this, you need to configure Node-RED under the configuration tab. You can either use the user interface or edit it in YAML file, but just don't copy and paste the same thing that I am putting here and you need to of course fill in your credential secret. It's just a random thing, I will change it later of course. Fill in the other fields as well. If you don't do that, you might get a bad getaway error and then click save button. Also, if you do not have SSL installed your home assistant, don't forget to make this thing false, otherwise it won't work. After this, you can go to node red on your side panel and start Node-RED. If you don't have any complicated automations, then you may not need Node-RED. But even so, installing doesn't hurt. With this integration, you can use Node-RED to create custom automations for your Home Assistant setup and access all of the data and entities within your Home Assistant instance directly from within Node-RED. This allows you to build complex automations and control your smart home devices with ease using a simple drag and drop interface. Also, I like flexibility of the Node-RED. You can easily modify your automations as your needs change and the visual interface makes it easier to debug your automations. My next favorite add-on is the Samba Share. With the Samba Share, you can easily access and share files stored on your Home Assistant. Samba Share makes it possible to easily transfer files between different devices on your network, which can be a great time saver. And after installing it, you need to configure it, of course. And you need to give your Home Assistant password here.
After you configure this, you can just type the IP of the Home Assistant and if it asks you to fill in your credentials, those are the ones that you configured in the Sambishare add-on and you can see your files here. The add-ons folder is the local add-ons location and backup is for your backup. Config folder is your Home Assistant configurations and etc. That way you can easily share files between Home Assistant and your computer. This add-on is particularly helpful if you mess up with your Home Assistant configuration and did something wrong. And believe me, it happens to everybody. So definitely worth installing. And here is my next favorite add-on, it is Tor. Tor is a free open software that allows users to browse the internet anonymously and securely. And when you use Tor, your internet traffic is encrypted and routed through a network of servers and making it more difficult for anyone to track your online activity. There are of course other paid services which allows you to access your home assistant through the internet but I think Tor is a way better choice and also it is free. Using Tor with Home Assistant can help protect your privacy and increase the security of your smart home setup. After installing it, it will generate an onion link and you can see it under the logs and you can only access this link using a Tor browser. You can either install Tor browser in your computer or in your mobile phone. Tor browser is available on the Google Play Store and also you can download it from the Apple Store as well. It's debatable whether paid services or Tor browser is more secure and also from the privacy and security perspective but I still like Tor browser and also it is free. I usually don't install terminal and SSH because I can access those under the visual code server so I don't need to separately install it and also VLC is a pretty decent add-on as well if you would like to use your home assistant for let's say playing music or something or watching videos and that's also up to you but it's not for everyone I guess and ESP home add-on is really great and with this, you can easily integrate your ESP8266 and ESP32 devices with Home Assistant. But it is not necessary for your first setup. And I plan to do a few projects using ESP Home in the future. So keep it tuned. The Grafana add-on for Home Assistant is a tool that allows you to create custom dashboards and visualizations for data collected by the Home Assistant. It is pretty popular open source data visualization tool that can be used to create dynamic and informative graphs and charts. And the add-on for Home Assistant allows you to integrate your smart home with Grafana easily. Since I like collecting data, I installed Grafana right after I installed Home Assistant. And of course you need to configure it. And I like editing in Yum. And I don't have installed. So I will make this false and save it. Then you can start Grafana and play with it. That definitely deserves another video. Actually, you can just figure out just playing with it. It's not really that complicated. So, words installing. Since we installed Grafana, we should definitely talk about InfluxDB. Maybe we should have installed this one earlier, but it's not really that important. We can configure things later on. InfluxDB is optimized for time series data and which makes it a great choice for storing and analyzing data from smart home sensors and devices. This add-on is a powerful tool for analyzing and monitoring your smart home data and can help you gain insight on how home automation setup is performing over time. So definitely worth installing as well. My next favorite add-on is Google Drive Backup, but it is installed a little bit differently. Go to Settings, Add-ons, go to the Add-on Store and click this three dotted area and click Repositories and paste the repository name and click Add and it will add the repository for the Google Drive Backup add-on. After this, click Close and refresh the page. Then you will be able to see the add-on right here and click install. 
This add-on automates the backup process and providing additional layer of protection for your data and configuration settings. So again, worth installing. These are the add-ons that I installed right after installing the Home Assistant. Of course, you might need additional add-ons for your Home Assistant setup, but it really depends on how you plan to use your Home Assistant and which kind of devices that you have. I hope you found this video informative and helpful. And like always, if you like this video, don't forget to give a thumbs up and see you next time.